gorgeous Melissa B. This is Wayne Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. How are you witches? I hope you're having an excellent start of the week. I hope you get to enjoy the full moon this past weekend. I know I did. I put my black mirror outside. So my black mirror bait already in the full moon and it's ready to rock and roll. Super excited about that. And I'll be sharing with you guys um, some of my experiences with my scrying mirror. I can't wait. I really can't. Today I have for you a little ritual for you to get in contact with your past lives. We're going to do some kind of meditation for regression. And the purpose of this ritual is for you to gather from the experiences of getting in touch with your past life, the time in which you had the most courage, the time in which you have the most love, the time in which you have the most happiness, the time in which you have your most, the most bravery. And the point of this exercise, which is, and the point of this ritual is for you to see yourself in your past life as a person with these qualities. So you can bring that to your actual life and you can implement that feeling into your situations at the moment. Life is not perfect, which is in life is not a happy pink bubble all the time. And there's many times in which we feel depressed. We feel we don't have what it takes to do something. We feel like we lack of bravery. We feel like we lack of security. So much self-doubt, right? So much unhappiness, so much sadness. You feel like you're not capable of loving or receive love. So with this exercise, you are going to contact yourself in your past lives and you are going to gather from this experience the best times that you have in your past life. That way you can bring that into the now, into today, and you can apply the feelings that you had before or all the messages that you gather from these visitations into yourself back in other lives. <sighs> the inspiration for this video is from the one and only and the amazing Lori Cabot. It's from this book, The Book of Spells and Enchantments. And I really suggest for you to get this book. It's really interesting. Now, uh, I don't know if some of you know who Lori Cabot is, but Lori Cabot was one of those witches that back in the day, probably in their very early 80s, late 70s, just came out and she was in your face and she was the witch of Salem and she had a no issues having people mocking her, having people judging her. She became a witch in your face. And to me, Lori Cabot is such a badass witch. To me, she represents a lot of breakthrough. A lot of like, I am here, I am who I am, and I'm in your face. So a lot of people think that she, her stuff became very commercialized. I think at one point, maybe it did. I actually had the experience of visiting her shop in Salem many years ago that shop is no longer open so she's dedicated her life to make her books she has a little bit of classes in youtube you may find some of her videos in youtube i do know that at one point in my life i was following her probably one of the social platforms i'm pretty sure it was facebook and she had great guided meditations and I did some of her meditations and they were pretty powerful. So I really recommend for you to experience her books. Maybe get some of her books. This book is really good. I have some other ones of her books, but this one I really like and I recommend for you guys to get it if you guys have the chance. When I saw this meditation in her book, I really felt moved to share it with you because I know in my heart it's going to be very beneficial for many of you. We're going to be needing a few ingredients today for our ritual and hopefully you get to find them easily in your area. I do not have any substitution for this because this was made by Lori Cabot. She already knows uh, the meaning of each ingredient on this ritual so I do not have any substitution for this. 
if you can get it you can get it if you cannot get it then don't worry about it and just do the ritual but uh, the ingredients that we're going to be needing today and i have a lot of it you're going to need some jasmine flowers you're going to need some mugwort you're gonna need some parchment paper or any paper that you find. You don't have to go out of your way to get parchment paper, but I'm gonna be using this one. You're gonna need a black marker, a Sharpie or a pencil, anything black that you have. You're gonna need some benzoin. Uh, this is all I have. Benzoin is really incredible. It smells so good. And which is, if you only have a few of these ingredients, just use what you have, okay? The point is that don't go crazy uh, on the ingredients. Just be very focused on the ritual. It's really, really important. Um, please make sure you have a little black baggie like this. You're also going to need a notebook. Or your book of shadows. Usually my book of shadows are a whole bunch of different notebooks. <laughs> so you're going to need something in which you write down the messages that you get when you are in this trouble. Okay, which is the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to create a little circle with my parchment paper. I have this gadget that I use sometimes to make circles on a paper. You don't have to have this. You can just mark a circle with something. And with our black sharpie, we are going to draw a spiral. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a perfect spiral, guys. But you want to create a spiral, something like this, okay? In a container, which is, I'm going to mix the ingredients that we need, the herbs that we need. I'm going to put some jasmine flowers. After you put your jasmine flowers, which is, we're going to add our mugwort. All right, which is, so once we have our mugwort, I am going to add some benzoin oil. Now, benzoin is extremely thick. This is a very, very, very thick resin. So we're just gonna add a little drop of benzoin. Okay, I absolutely love the smell of benzoin. Mix your herbs with your benzoin. Put your intentions in everything you do, which is the whole purpose of this little mix is to assist you when you are trying to contact your own self and your past lives. So now that you have your herbal mix, you're going to get your black candle. We're going to light this black candle, which is... We're going to put some of this herb around the candle. Not too much. Okay, which is now that you have your candle lit, surrounded by your herbs, and you also have your talisman, your spiral. You're going to put your, the palms of your head face up. And this is the chant that you're going to chant. I now draw to me the pictures and knowledge of my past life. I wish to see only the most productive, successful, and romantic times. Make sure now, witches, that you grab your spiral. You're going to lay down and you're going to put the spiral in your forehead. Close your eyes and meditate about your past life. Connect with yourself hundreds, 
thousands, maybe millions of years ago, and gather from this experience only the best of you, so you can bring those experiences right into the present and into this life. And that's it, which is make sure that when you finish with your ritual, you put your spiral along with all the remnants of your herbs inside your black baggie. Close it, keep it close to you, and repeat this ritual as much as you need it. Please make sure to write down every message that you get, image that you see in your book of shadows. You will see that after some time, everything is going to start making sense to you. And that's it, witches. Thank you so very much for all your support. Please remember that you can email me if you have any questions. Layer of the witch at yahoo.com. Also, make sure to visit my social platforms Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And of course, I have an amazing website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com, in which you can find products and information to assist you in all your witchcraft endeavors. It is always awesome talking to you witches. Stay very smart, witch. Very, very smart. But above all, you must stay so very wicked. Bye.